Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you're all doing really well today. It's very hot right now. I'm literally just boiling. I'm just boiling. <laughs> um, so today we have a really, really exciting video. Today I will be reviewing the new Bobbi Brown Instant Cover Concealer. I have the shade Warm Honey. Um, this has recently come out, I believe, uh, sometime last week. And um, it's been really popular. And to be honest, I actually really, really like it. Now, this is going to be a more of a review rather than a first impression because I have already been trying it out and reviewing it. This concealer does retail for £23, so it's an okay price. It's literally comparable to like NARS and Estee Lauder and all those other brands. Um, you do get 6ml in here, which is your standard amount that you get in a concealer. I have read online on the website that it does say that it's a highly pigmented coverage that visibly brightens stubborn dark circles and softens hollows and tired lines in an instant and that you don't need no sleep. It said it's for anyone who wants for a full coverage under the eye and with a weightless feel and natural skin finish. And it says it's different because it is a highly pigmented concealer that covers completely, feels like nothing, and it instantly brightens dark circles. And it says it's a non-drying formula, helps balance, balance the skin's natural moisture levels for a supple, more comfortable feel. Plus, the longwear formula is water, sweat, and humidity resistant, all-day coverage that won't crease or settle. Okay, so I, I have been using this... I would say for like a couple of days now I have been trying it out and um, again I'm in the shade of warm honey I'll leave a link in the info box um, to be honest this concealer is really good I'm wearing it today it's very full coverage it's very I feel like it's very moisturizing it it glides on perfectly when you blend I find I like to personally blend with the beauty blender but it works perfectly with your finger or you can use a brush like it works well with anything the only thing is if you want to use a damp beauty blender you might find that it has a tacky feel to it I don't mind that I, f I like that because I know it's a hydrating concealer um like on my forehead I just needed to touch up with my finger which I'll show you guys now but yeah as you can see with a beauty blender it blends really nicely very seamlessly um it does have that tacky feel but I don't mind that um, it does really, it it does brighten, like it covers so well. I believe that it, like I truly believe that it does cover really well and I think like anyone would love this concealer. It's very comparable to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer but it's not as drying as that concealer because I stopped buying that concealer because I found that for me it was too drying. But this has like a moist, it has that dewy effect but once you blend it, it settles. Once you set it, it settles and it just doesn't budge. Now, through, by the end of the day, it does crease a tad bit, but it's nothing more than what my other concealers do. Like, everyone gets that natural creasing under their eyes. Um, for me, it does that a tad bit, but you can't really see unless I look up or pull my eyes down, which no one really does anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not like a big deal to me because it's just like my other concealers. The coverage is really good, and I would almost compare it to the shape, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Because when I put it, I've tried it around my mouth and it covers really well but it doesn't dry me out and it doesn't go ashy at all. It does feel very lightweight and I feel like it can cover anything really. I did try it on my tattoo, like me and my friend Nina, we tried it on my tattoo and it does actually cover 80% of it. Should I do like another wear test like the last time? Okay, let me show you. So this is my tattoo and this is the concealer wand. Look at that coverage! Look, I don't even need to show you more guys, like look. Look at that. Just have to blend it. Can you see how that covers? You can't even, you can see a little bit, it's not like the Dermacore foundation I tried but for a face concealer that is really 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 good. Here's a quick swatch of the concealer. As you can see, it's a bit brighter than my skin tone, but I really like that because it really brightens my under eye. So I did want to come in front of daylight to show you what it looks like in natural daylight. Um, so right now I'm in front of my kitchen window. And can you see how like flawless it looks? Like it's a really good concealer. I'm just gonna zoom in. Can you see like how it doesn't really even dry out my under eyes? And today I haven't even Normally I wear eye cream, but today I'm not. I did use my Ben Nye Banana Powder to set it, but as you can tell, like in daylight, it looks still amazing. I will talk a bit about the brush because I wanted to talk about the Dolk Doe Foot Applicator because it's the only thing that I find that is not the best. I find it quite hard and stubby, but 
once you apply it on the on the uh, on the face it doesn't bother me as much so it's not a big deal but i feel like it could have a softer applicator and um, that's just my personal opinion it is much it's a it's a harder wand than c compared to any of the other concealers that I have. I think that's the only downside to it. It's super long wearing, it lasts really well, it covers, it brightens for me. Like I've had a really, really good experience with this concealer and it's really good. I think that's all I have to say. This video is not sponsored by the way. This is, if and if it was, you guys know me. Like I will always say my honest opinion and it will be written in the info box or I will actually say it in the video, but this is not, um, this is just my genuine opinion, I've bought it myself. I think that's all I have to say guys, if I would rate it out of a 10 out of 10, I would give it a 9 out of 10 because I just don't like the doe foot applicator, but then apart from that, I'm happy with everything else. The colour range is amazing, they have so many colours for everyone. I do think that they could do with a bit more darker shades maybe. Nevertheless, I still think they have a good shade range is better than most brands out there so um i think that's all i have to say guys i'm really happy with this concealer if you want to see more concealer or like specific product reviews let me know i really enjoyed doing this one and trying this out for you guys if you do suffer with like really dark circles i would definitely recommend this concealer and if it's super dark under your eyes or anywhere on your face try a corrector first and then use this concealer and i swear to you like you'll be so happy with the results so if you do have any questions let me know in the comments below um, I will answer to all of your questions. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.